building climate resilience has been preached and promoted vehemently more so over the last decade. Grenada is a signatory to the Paris Accord, which came into being in 2015, but questions and concerns are still being raised as to what countries have actually done in that regard. One of the pioneers of the Paris Agreement, Dr. James Fletcher, recently shared some alarming news that will have dire consequences for small island states such as Grenada. He says the polar ice caps are melting faster than ever before. The temperature increases we're seeing in the North Pole, the Arctic Circle, are actually higher than what we're seeing globally. So last year, for example, I, I'm sure that this is a, a joke that, that you get um, universally, that when you, when, you, when you say that you're banishing someone, you say that you're sending them to Siberia because Siberia is known to have the most the harshest, coldest conditions on the planet. In June last year, Siberia, a town in Siberia, recorded a temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let that, let that sink in. We have never, at least not in my living history, have we seen 100 degrees Fahrenheit in any one of our Caribbean islands. The consultant says in the Antarctic in 2020, record temperatures were witnessed. Those are, those are places where you should not be able to venture, even with full clothing and everything else. So... The, the, the temperature at our poles is warming alarmingly. And as a result, we have now sea level rise taking place at a level that's even greater than we thought. In 2019, the, the data showed that the, the, the ice melting in Greenland was what we thought would be a worst case scenario by the year 2070. So it means we're 50 years ahead of schedule for what the models had predicted would be um, sea level rise and, and, and ice warming. Dr. Fletcher says low-lying climate vulnerable countries will see severe consequences. Our economic and social juggler is near the coast. All of our economic infrastructure is near the coast. Our power plants, our roads, our schools, our hospitals, um, everything that is of economic significance to us is located near the coast in the Caribbean. So consider what impact a one meter sea level rise, which is the, 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 the best case scenario that we're looking at, what that will mean for St. Kitts, for St. Lucia, for Anguilla, um, for, every, for, for Antigua and, 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 and Barbados, which are very low he says disruptions to the water cycle are being experienced, stronger hurricanes and more acidic oceans, which are a threat to the seafood industry. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.